Hey, what's up you guys? It's Rocky here. Today I want to make a quick video on how to install Ubuntu on a virtual box on your Mac. And this is going to be totally free. You don't need to buy anything. And let's go ahead and get straight into it. So the first thing that you guys do is to come download a few files. So go to Ubuntu.com. And as you come to the site, you will be able to see the home page. And this is the home page. Uh, go to Get Ubuntu. And you would want to come to Ubuntu Desktop. And you can also use the other versions, but we're doing the desktop version. And take note of this. These are the requirements that you're going to need for this. Uh, this is what is recommended. Uh, I highly advise you to use this. And they also have some notes for 17.04. We're going to be using 16.04. Uh, two, and the reason why because this is more stable. Uh, this is like the latest and greatest uh, Hasn't had all the bugs iron out. So this is a lot better uh, I suggest go with this one. You don't have to so you're going to download that uh, Then we're going to go over to virtualbox.org and come down to download And you're going to get two things from here. You're going to get OS X host and if you're doing this for Windows You can use Windows. Uh, the process is pretty much the same and I also want you to come and download uh, this extension pack. So click on this link here. And you should have three files once you download everything. You have these three. You have the extension pack. And you have the VirtualBox DMG. And you have the ISO file from Ubuntu. Uh, this ISO file is about one and a half gigs. Uh, this one is 94 megabytes. This is 96, well, 19 megabytes. So. Uh, download all of that and go to the next step. So the next step would be to go ahead and go to the VirtualBox DMG and let's go ahead and install that. So as you double click on it, you'll see VirtualBox.pkg. Go ahead and double click that. And we're going to install it. I'm going to hit continue, install, and if you got to put in your password, put it in. Me, I just use my fingerprint reader. And this shouldn't take too long. I do suggest that you have a pretty uh, new MacBook to do this, or an iMac have some that has some power. Uh, older devices might struggle uh, running a virtual machine. So after you have done that, you should be able to look inside your application folder, and you should see the application inside of that folder. And it should be right there at the bottom. So let's go ahead and open that up. And here is the virtual box. So the next thing I want you guys to do is to come up and go to VirtualBox at the top and go to Preference. Then come over to Extensions and let's go ahead and put in that extension pack. So click on the box here to the right and you're going to go to that folder that you have of uh, your extension pack. I have mine on my desktop so here it is. And we're going to add that in. We're going to click Install. And I'm going to hit I agree. I'm going to put in your password. And it's going to install that for you. And it should say uh, the extension pack was installed successfully. And go ahead and hit OK. Uh, what that extension pack does is it allows for your hardware to work correctly, like your USB. And your, if you have like a CD-ROM and stuff, it makes that stuff work a lot better. So you want to be sure you do install this. Okay, now we can go ahead and create our virtual machine. So we're going to hit new. And you're going to give it a name. And I'm just going to name mine some Ubuntu. And we're going to be using Linux. You have Microsoft uh, Solaris, BSD, Mac. So you can put a different thing on here if you want to. And we're making our 64-bit. I'm going to hit continue. Uh, now this is the part that comes down to your preference. At a minimum, you got to have one gig. So you see it says 1024. You would think that it say 1000, but actually one gig is actually 1024. Me, I'm going to be using six. Um, what's going to happen is the more resources you take away from uh, from your Mac OS, the slower Mac OS is going to run. It's going to give this more resource to run. You want to give it more if you want to use Linux like pretty heavily, and I am going to be doing that. I need for mine to run pretty heavy, uh, want to run pretty smoothly, so I'm going to give mine some more RAM. So I'm going to give mine 6, which is going to be 6144. 
And again, this is up to you. I have 16 gigs on my machine and I'm going to just give it six. So let's hit continue. And we want to go ahead and create a virtual hard disk. It recommends 10. I'm going to do 25 from the recommendation from the site, which is what I told you guys to look at before. So make sure you have VDI selected, continue, uh, dynamically advocated, continue. Uh, make sure your name is still correct. And this is where you're going to pick the file size. Matter of fact, uh, let's do 30 on my ass, actually. Now, it's not going to use all of this space off the bat, but if you need to expand, this is what it's going to expand up to 30 gigs. So let's hit create, and we are good there. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and start installing Ubuntu. So let's double click on Ubuntu. And we're going to come over and we're going to search for that file. So mine's is back on my desktop. Go to desktop and there's that ISO file that we downloaded. We're going to select it, hit OK, and hit start. Now it's going to run a couple of things and let me make this bed so you guys can see it better. And just give it a few. It just takes a few for it to load. Now, depending on how much power your machine has, this might take a long time, might not. Uh, Binds shouldn't take too long, maybe five minutes at the most. Uh, if you have a slower machine, it can take up to maybe 20, maybe 30. And we're just letting it load. Okay, so you should come to this screen here and you can pick your language. I'm going to go with English and you want to click on install Ubuntu. And if you would like to, you can download the updates while installing Ubuntu or you can wait till later. I'm going to wait till later just to save time. You can also install 30 port of software for graphics. I'm not going to do that right now also. So we're going to hit continue. Uh, Make sure you have erase this and install Ubuntu. Now, this is not going to erase anything on your Mac. This is talking about the virtual machine. There shouldn't be anything on it unless you are overwriting another machine. But as of now, you can just go ahead and install this. Won't cause any issues. Install now. And hit continue. And next thing I want to do is pick your location. And I'm inside the Phoenix area. I'm going to hit continue. Uh, make sure that your keyboard that you want to select it. You can also auto detect it by typing things. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use my US one. Continue. And come in and name it here. I'm going to name my Rocky. And that's good. Let's give it a password. Okay, and we're just going to hit next and it's going to start installing Ubuntu. Okay, so once it's complete, it's going to say restart now. So go ahead and click that. Okay, so be sure that you hit enter so it can go ahead and continue. Okay, and now we have the login screen. Let's go ahead and log in. And there we have it. We have Linux. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, let me know at the comment section, and I'll get to them as soon as possible. And until next time. Peace.